Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can cool down your graphics card. So a lot of people's graphics cards run very hot. Um, there's a variety of different reasons why that may happen. Uh, one may be just the case they're running it in doesn't have enough intake, not enough airflow in the case. Uh, it could just be the card itself. Some cards do run very hot and depending on the cooler that comes with the card, uh, you're going to get different temperatures on your card. You can see my card here. I have the AMD Radon RX 480 and I'm running at 43 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm considering this is at idle temperatures and I have good airflow in my case. So on any other card, this should have been running cooler, but I, my card in general runs very hot. It also could be if you have an overclock applied on your card and it's overheating or it's running really hot. Um, there's tons of different reasons why your card could be overheating. One last one is just the dust buildup. So this one a lot of people overlook or they don't realize, especially if they don't have a side panel in their case, is that if you haven't opened up your computer in a year or you haven't looked inside um, or even cleaned it out, there's going to be a huge amount of dust building up inside of your components and inside of your case, especially if you don't have positive airflow in your case. So what you're going to want to do is uh, clean that dust out because if you have dust building up in the fans and in the cards and the components, then that's obviously going to create a lot more heat. So to do that, you can get an electronic duster. They're like 10 bucks off Amazon uh, or at Staples or whatever you want to get them from and just blow out your components to get rid of all the dust and that should definitely make them run cooler. So say you've looked inside your case and there's no dust buildup, you have good airflow, well what can I do to make my card run cooler? Now this method here that I'm going to show you is completely software related, so you don't have to actually do anything inside your case. All you're going to have to do is download MSI Afterburner, so that's the program I have open right now. Um, and you can do that by simply going to their website. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Now once you've downloaded that, you'll see the temperature on the side. Mine is at 43 right now. You should see all these little bars. Don't worry about those. All we're going to do is click on the settings button right here. Now once we do that, we're going to click on fan. Now what we're actually going to do here is we're going to move our fan up so that we're making it run faster. So pretty much the faster we run our fan, the cooler our card is going to be. So we can see we have a little grid here with fan speed and temperature. Now you don't want to play with this too much, but what we're going to do is pretty much just move up all of these things so that our fan speed is running higher per temperature. So you're just going to move these bars up like so. And you can just play around with them until it's at a speed that you're happy with. And you can check the temperature while you're running games by just leaving this open and going to check that. Now, once you've done that, all you have to do is pretty much click OK. And you should start to hear the fan go louder in your computer, especially if it is a louder fan. Uh, and you can see here my fan just jumped from 36 to 45. Now, if you want to turn off this preset fan that you just changed, all you have to do is click on this setting button here that's highlighting red around the fan speed. Now, if you click that, you can see my fan speed drops all the way back to 19. And now you should see my temperature start to rise a little bit because the fan is going to be running so much uh, slower. So you can see that's what we've just done is we made a custom fan profile so that we're actually uh, changing how fast our fan runs per temperature on the card. So if we go back to that, we go to fan right here, you can see we have the grid, we have temperature and we have fan speed. So for example, here at 100 degrees, which is not safe for the card, our fan will be running at 100% to get all of that heat off the card. Now, if I go back and I change from custom here to default, you can see that this profile has moved. Um, and that's just because of the way I changed it. Right now, same thing here. If you actually don't want to cool down your card, but you want your fan to go slower, um, say you're fine if your card is running hotter, but you just don't want to hear the sound, you can move all of these values down so that at 30 degrees here, you're only running at 21% fan speed, which you can't really hear. Um, so that's the way that you can change the fan settings on your card. So by default, they come with once you hit 30 degrees, we're at 30% fan speed. Um, but if you change that by yourself, then you can kind of control the temperature of your card and the volume of your card, so the acoustics, which is a really nice thing to be able to do, especially if you're running a really high-end game uh, and you see your cards running at 85 degrees Celsius. Maybe you want to cool that down. You can just change the fan speed um, with that fan profile. So you can also change the fan speed by simply unclicking this and unclicking auto and just setting it to whatever you want it to be. So by dragging that bar, but that's not good because then that means every single time that you want the uh, to change the fan speed, you have to go back and drag that bar. So yeah, 
that is pretty much how you can cool down your graphics card. It's a really simple way, just using software, just by clicking the little setting button here and just changing the fan profile. Uh, so if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in another.